When you think about the United States, what cities come to mind? New York? Miami? Los Angeles? The United States is much more than the most popular and biggest cities you've probably already heard of. There are thousands of towns and counties across the United States, each one offering its citizens something unique, beautiful, and valuable. Welcome to Lakeland, Florida. A lot of people called it prison when I was growing up. But these are my roots and this is what I love. Cause everybody knows me and I know them and I believe that's the way we were supposed to live. I wouldn't trade one single day here in small town USA. Located in the county of Polk and situated between the cities of Orlando and Tampa, Lakeland offers a choice of commuting to either cities for work or pleasure. With easy access to I-4, Tampa and Orlando are easily accessible. Native Americans lived here after the end of the last ice age until the end of the Second Seminole War. European American settlers arrived in Lakeland from South Carolina in the 1870s. The city expanded in the 1880s with the arrival of rail service. Freedmen railway workers and European immigrants also came here because of jobs in the phosphate industry. Support Florida Phosphate. The small town feel, family friendly environment, and slow paced lifestyle make Lakeland an ideal place to visit and to live. Lakeland is served by Amtrak Railway Station, located in downtown Lakeland at 600 Lake Mirror Drive, next to the police department and beautiful Lake Mirror. Served by the Silver Star train, which runs daily between New York City and Miami. You can also connect to the local bus network with the Silver and Purple Citrus Connection bus lines that will connect you to Lakeland buses and the Amtrak station. I do recommend access to a vehicle while you stay in Lakeland. Uber and Lyft are plentiful and there's plenty of registered safe drivers in and around Lakeland ready to get you to your destination. Average wait times can be 8 to 15 minutes sometimes. As the name implies, Lakeland is known for its many lakes. One of those lakes is called Lake Hollingsworth. Most of the culture of Lakeland revolves around its many lakes. Culture and activities which include boating, jet skiing, running, marathons, skating, fishing, and much, much more. Skateboarders, bikers, longboarders, and Lakelanders alike make the pilgrimage to Lake Hollingsworth and enjoy the lake's many offerings, amenities, and joys. Feel free to take advantage of the easy access boat ramp where you can unload your jet skis and boats, take comfort on the waterfront benches, and just relax and enjoy the breeze coming off the water where you can find folks enjoying the small pleasures Lake Hollingsworth offers. Remember to respect the lake, and the lake will respect you. With a bicycle and running path offering 2.8 miles of heart-pumping adventure, you can easily spend many hours at Lake Hollingsworth, working up a sweat, relaxing, or just taking in the sights. Our second stop in Lakeland brings us to the Kelly Recreation Complex, a quaint institution which offers plenty of things to do. People of all ages get on the tennis courts and enjoy a singles or a doubles game, use the gym with free weights, plenty of machines, or play a pickup basketball game in a beautiful indoor arena. What is probably the best hidden secret of this little gym? Definitely the Gandy Pool. 
Located behind the South Florida Avenue Walmart, which is highlighted by the earth tone stucco in the background, Gandy Pool is a place you want to come to when you want to hit the swim lanes or just feel the water on your skin while you listen to the Beach Boys playing through poolside speakers. People of all ages always feel good when coming to Gandy Pool. Make sure to wear goggles and head protection. Don't forget them like I did. Serving USA. Follow me as we leave Gandy Pool and make our way to downtown Lakeland. We pass the respected Lakeland Police Department on the left, cross the railroad tracks, and proceed to make a right onto Cedar Street. You should be approaching Kentucky Avenue with a view of Munn Park in front of you. Make a left onto Kentucky Avenue. If you're visiting from up north, please remember to drive slow. Take your time and respect the speed limits down here, damn it. Hell, that goes for locals and snowbirds. When you see the iconic Harry's restaurant on your left and Nathan's men's store in front of you to the right, then you're officially in downtown Lakeland. Downtown Lakeland brings us to our second beautiful lake. Located just a few blocks walking distance from downtown, Lake Mirror offers plenty of gardens, public trusts, greenery, restaurants, and architecture. In close proximity, Amtrak Station, Barnett Family Park, and Lakeland Police Department. With a beautiful view of the downtown Lakeland skyline, you can walk along the Francis Langford Promenade and adore the architecture, wildlife, and other people strolling about the lake. Works created by various artists such as Albert Paley's The Spirit of Volunteerism line Lake Mirror ready to be admired by people aware of the local artist's contribution to this city. Feeling hungry? Are you fiending for a good old American steak? You're definitely in the right damn place. Lakeland knows its steaks. Behind Albert Paley's beautiful creation you can find the mouth-watering Texas Cattle Company. Guys and gals on the grill over here know how to cook a damn steak. When you're here, tell them Sam sent you. Of course, they won't know who the hell I am. Come on, folks. Let's go take a gander at downtown Lakeland. We make our way back to Harry's Restaurant, located on Main Street, which is New Orleans inspired from jambalaya to signature cocktails, will have you pleased and walking out satisfied with a smile on your face. Admire the longevity of Nathan's Men's Store, established in 1942, located across historic Munn Park. Munn Park is registered in the National Register of Historic Places. It is named in honor of the city's founder, Abraham Munn. In 1910, the Daughters of the Confederacy erected a Confederate monument in the center of the park. It was removed on March 22, 2019. On Saturdays, try to catch the local farmer's market. The congregation of vendors with various goods services and products make a good addition to the downtown culture. Try a cup of coffee, buy some fresh produce, or just window shop and take in the relaxed atmosphere of the market on a beautiful sunny day with clear blue skies and mild breeze. Who said it was winter time? Downtown Lakeland is full of neat little bars, restaurants, and very, very cool people. You'll meet a who's who of characters down here with people from all over the country and explore some very cool spots with signature specialties and services. Stop into Molly McHugh's Irish Pub and enjoy a drink or five. Just kidding. Stick to a mature level of alcohol and enjoy this cute little bar and the patrons that call this their watering hole. Once you've had your favorite libation and mingled with some fun people, cross the street and fill your stomach to what your heart desires. The taco bus, 
Hookah Palace, Burgers, and Palace Pizza. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. And they're always glad you came. You want to be where you can see the troubles are all the same. You want to be where everybody knows your name. Mr. Coffee's dead. The morning's looking bright. Morning's looking bright. And your shrink ran off to Europe and didn't even write. And your husband wants to be a girl. Be glad there's one place in the world where everybody knows your name. And they're always glad you came. Welcome to the Lakeland Police Department. Made up of administration, investigative services, neighborhood services, and special services. If you have a chance, go see the Fallen Heroes Memorial. Let's take a look at three respectable colleges in Lakeland. Our first college is Florida Southern College, a private college located at 111 Lake Hollingsworth Drive. With both undergraduate and graduate programs, students can take advantage of the strategic location of the college to Lake Hollingsworth. The setting of beautiful Frank Lloyd Wright architecture and the serene lakeside view adds to a quiet and focused study environment for students who choose to study here. Our second college on the list, welcome to the beautiful and respected Southeastern University. Located at 1000 Longfellow Boulevard, Southeastern is a private liberal arts university with many undergraduate and graduate and doctoral programs ranging from arts and media, behavioral social sciences, business, education, ministry, theology, natural and health sciences. Students have no shortage of fields to choose from. Our third college on the list brings us to Polk State Community College, located at 3425 Winter Lake Road. Polk State College is a great institution and offers degrees and certificates. A popular hangout location and favorite among shoppers, diners, and movie lovers is Lakeside Village Shopping Center, located at 1479 Town Center Drive. Lakeside Village has a lot to offer. With name brand stores such as Kohl's, Belk Lindsay's, Bed Bath & Beyond, in addition to numerous retail outfits and small personalized eating choices, Lakeside Village is a place where folks walk around, peruse the different stores, enjoy a cup of coffee, and browse Books A Million for an interesting read. When the sun isn't too hot and you feel a gentle breeze in the air, walk around at leisure here. Don't feel shy to explore the area. Hang out with a loved one or an unloved one. Grab a drink or catch a movie. And make your way to Cobb Theater where you can find the latest releases and enjoy the pastime of the movie experience. Yeah, I love the internet too, but nothing beats the experience of going to the dang movies. It was very nice to see you again. Thanks for hanging out here in Lakeland, Florida. I do want to say the town is absolutely beautiful and Florida is a very beautiful state. If you have a chance to come down here and visit, please do so. The one neat thing that I find, that I found, find, found about this town is that you're going to meet some very cool people here, some very interesting people, people from all over the country, people from all over the world. And yeah, the weather is an absolute delight. I mean, who said it was winter time? Not in Central Florida. It was nice to see you again. Uh, take care, and I'll see you next time.